Hello there friends! So a few weeks ago, a new version of OpenTunes was released, version 1.7. And last week, I released a roundup of my 10 favourite new features in this release. So if you've not watched that, then you can do by checking it out up here. But since then, I've heard from a few new users and from users that haven't used OpenTunes for a while. So I wanted to point you to my favourite resources for getting started with OpenTunes, starting with my channel. So from any of my videos, just click on the name or my face below the video to go to my channel. Then once there, after watching my welcome video, take a look through the first playlist, Getting Started with OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. And this is the most useful videos that I've made, added here in order of importance. And I change these from time to time, adding or removing them, so do check back. And the first video will get you started with OpenTunes, with a full tutorial taking you through the basics of using the program for creating an animation. And yes, it is the old bouncing ball again. But this covers the main topics and pitfalls in getting started with OpenTunes. And if you prefer to do instead of just watching a video, then the next tutorial has an OpenTunes project that you can download and work through to learn the basics. And it's a different approach to learning OpenTunes, but you might find it useful. Then I've got a video introducing my complete tutorial course on Udemy, which I'll tell you more about later, so do take a look at that. And then the next videos go through five essential tips that you must take note of before using OpenTunes. Then, how to set up FFmpeg for rendering out MP4 and GIF, and to enable adding MP3 audio into your animations. Then I've got a series of four videos that show a workflow of using OpenTunes through a small animation of a flower sack jumping. And as you can see, this is broken down into four distinct stages of the animation process, ending with adding effects. And then there's a few videos showing how to add other assets to your scenes, images, image sequences, and audio files. And if you click play all, you'll also find some other useful videos in there too. And then I've got a few other useful playlists covering specific topics that I'm asked about quite a lot. First, there's all my videos about cutouts animation, starting off with rigging BB-8, and then onto this skeleton, and then videos showing how to use different aspects of cutout in your project. Then I've got some videos about lip syncing using the automatic lip sync tool, as well as using a manual method. Then I've got a few videos about using the special effects, including some with downloadable content. And then a few videos showing how to use the auto in between tool. And then away from the front page, you can click on the playlist link at the top to see all of the playlists that I've put together. So you might find a category of videos of interest to you in there. And you can also click the videos link at the top to be able to see all of the videos I've uploaded with the latest first. So why not have a browse? And next, I want to quickly remind you of my Discord site, which has lots of useful information on there, with tips for getting started with OpenTunes, a frequently asked questions page, which answers 90% of the questions I'm asked, so do check that out, lots of useful downloads, including assets, art books and tutorials, and it's a place to chat, ask questions and share your art and animation. And you can find a link to that in the description. And as I said at the start of today's video, I've got a course on Udemy that you will find useful. It contains over 11 hours of lessons with demonstrations, exercises and downloads, and it's very reasonably priced. And you'll find a link to that course with the best price in the description below. And on the course page, you can see the full list of lessons so you know exactly what they are, and you can even watch some for free. So why not take a look? In the meantime, here's a little tease of the course, and I'll see you next time for another tutorial. And that's a Darren T. Have you always wanted to animate but didn't know how to start, and software seemed expensive and difficult to use? Well, with OpenTunes, it's free powerful and once you know how it's easy to use and it's my mission to get you animating with it today hi my name's darren and i've been teaching open tunes for the past three years showing thousands of students just like you how easy it is to animate with 
and cutting through the jargon to show that anyone can animate with it. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to animate traditionally using OpenTunes. And the course is designed for students brand new to OpenTunes, as well as those new to animation. So take a look at the free lessons I've offered below, and then why not sign up and join me animating traditionally with OpenTunes.